Question number 15 is another good question and that has been set from wave theory of light. It says on a hot summer night refractive index of air is smallest near the ground and increases with height. So it means as I go above the value of mu increases. But if mu increases of course the speed of light decreases because we know that has an inverse relation. When a light beam is directed horizontally, so let me make an assumption that effect is beyond this line. So all those effect is here. So when the light beam is directed horizontally, the Huygens principle leads us to conclude that as it travels, that means light as it travels, the beam bends downward, bends upward, becomes narrower or goes horizontally without deflection. So it is based on Huygens principle of constructing secondary wave front and the principle says that the disturbance travels forward with the speed of light at that point. All these points are in same phase so that's a planar wave front till this point but by the time this disturbance reaches here this disturbance would have reached only here and this would have reached a lesser distance because the speed is decreasing. So if we connect all this point, this becomes the secondary wave front. Means all these particles are in same phase. So now if this is the wave front, we know energy travels in a direction perpendicular to that. So quite obviously this leads to bending of light in the upward direction. So we can certainly confirm about second option. It means it bends upward. So question number 15 has option